Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and Eli and Paul went to our local uh, river system last night. Uh, fill up our freezer with frogs. It's been hot, man. So uh, we didn't spend a whole, you know, a whole lot of time out there. We frogged till about midnight, and uh, we ended up with right at 30 big old Louisiana bullfrogs, and uh, that's going to be enough to feed us at least a couple of times. So we're going to do a catch, clean, cook. I'm really not going to show the cleaning part because most people give me frowny faces when I show that. But what I do want to show you is uh, is a little bit about how we catch them. We use multiple tools uh, uh, to catch frogs. Most of the time we, we can catch. That's what uh, my dad, myself, and a couple of my, my boys uh, use. We just use our hand. We find it most accurate. Uh, interestingly enough, Eli has always struggled a little bit with his hand. Not sure why. He plays video games all the time and he's really good at those. But uh, he has a proclivity to, to, to the net. And uh, he really does amazing with that net, better than anybody I've ever seen. So we're going to show you a little bit about the net. You can't find these really uh, online or, or, or anywhere. So these are all homemade. We have two or three of them that we've made. Uh, the key to, the, to a net is a handle that's about five foot long. Any shorter than that and you really can't reach them. Any longer than that and you have some control problems. So uh, around four to five foot on the handle. Uh, the, the, the tail of the net is very important. You want something at least two feet long, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, you, know, you can't go too long with it, but you can go too short with it. We've really tinkered with the, the diameter of, of the net and we found that eight inches is, is kind of a, a, a really good measurement for the frog. So uh, for whatever reason, Eli is amazing with this thing and uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of little tips and tricks because a lot of people struggle with a net. And, uh, so stand by, let me show you that real quick. All right, so here's one of our little Louisiana bullfrogs. Uh, that's actually probably about a medium. Um, anyway, it's the first one I grabbed. So whenever you're using a net, the first thing you want to do is you want to bend your net so that it's uh, about that angle or so. And this is pointed up. You want to start with the net pointed down. And that angle fits us pretty right, uh, pretty good. So the tail of the net, you want to fold the tail of the net about like so. You don't want to make a raft because then the frog can't jump in it. but you want to do about like that on top and you want it to, to, to balance like that. Okay, so once the frog, <clears throat> once you see your frog, and I don't know what he's going to do, let's see if he stays, all right? So anybody can put the net on the frog. The trick is what do you do after the net is on the frog, right? So sometimes you put the net on top of the frog and he just sits there. So what do you do then? Well, you've got to make that frog jump, okay? So what Eli does is he'll he'll do this he'll 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 mess with them until they jump and then once they jump they're in the net okay now once they're in the the tail of the net what do you do well the first thing you do if you just pick this net up right now that sucker's going to climb out that net and jump off I almost promise you so what you do as soon as you get him in there you twist the net over the handle just like that okay once you do that there's a there's a pretty good chance that he's not going to climb out. But still, every now and then, they'll finagle their, their way out of there. So what Eli's really good at is doing that little process very, very, very quickly. But he'll pull that net in, and he'll grab it right here. And uh, it's really something to see. And I have a couple of good clips to show you him in action. But, uh, but that's the trick. If, if, if you get that down, and you're pretty, good, pretty accurate putting the net on the frog, you're not going to miss many that way. Uh, so there you go. Hope you learned something. Thank y'all for watching. All right. Big one. a boy. Oh. <laughs> boy, you did that like a pro. First one of the night. First one of the night. All right. Just embrace the suck. Put your guys on him. Cow. Oh, going in hot. You boy. That ain't nothing for a player. Oh, boy, lady. Ah, okay. <laughs>
Four legs. Four legs. <laughs> That's a nice one. Nice. Saw another one over there. Oh, nice one, Eli. In, in there? Four. No. He's small. It's because he's up on the. Uh, I can't see. Okay. Because he's up on the bank, huh? Oh, boy. What's wrong with that? Can you extend this now? Tender leg. Okay. Nice one. Feel something in his belly. Mm hmm. Feel that? I feel it slithering like a snake. He's behind that tree. He's right behind that tree. Okay, there you go. Jump. You get that boat, I don't think he's gonna get him. You know, you remember you had one the other night? Nice one. He didn't want to jump at all. I know. <laughs> he didn't jump long enough for Braden to commentate the whole time. Ten. Nine. He's huge. Yeah. Well, come in a little faster. He's not huge at all. Oh, right there in the middle, right there. <laughs> Throw him back. Let him grow yeah. up. Get that sucker. Go on, look how bad he is. Nice. He's not as big as I thought. Like he's not as big. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Female. Sticking eyes are huge like that. That's a big pro. Eleven. Did you lift your foot up? Lift your foot up? Okay. Reach. Nah, go in between. That's a big frog. Good job. Good job. Dude, you're an animal with that net. Yeah, that one's bigger than the last one. It's not too far from that. Yeah, it's like pretty old. How in the hell did you see him? Oh man, what you say? <laughs> How'd you see that frog? Dude, that frog was like eye level with you. <laughs> I look up because every time I do, I freaking see one like that. Big. And he sure looked bigger than that, didn't he? Okay, I just meant for light for me to. Oh, look at that spot he's in. That's amazing. He's sitting in the middle of a little waterfall, Dad. Yeah. Freaking deadly with that thing. Oh. Come forward a little bit, Dad? No, no, no. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna pull the boat toward you here so it won't so it won't push off. Are right, you in? Yes. Yeah. Okay, back up. There's a giant thorn bush. With <laughs> I saw that. Heck yeah. A 
Okay, hook a right, Dad, if you can. Okay. Nice one. Medium to small. Magic. Oh, He's big. All right, we're gonna clean them up. We have our scissors, our knife, our catfish skinners, some ice, and uh, we're gonna get those cleaned up. Get all messy, and uh, we'll see y'all back in a minute. All right, me and Eli finished them up. Uh, Thirty frog legs. I don't know. It took us maybe fifteen minutes. I'm gonna take them inside and wash them up really good, and then we're gonna start marinating them, and uh, we'll we'll get to the cook portion of the video. Thanks for sticking around this long. So we cook frog legs many ways. Um, we fry them, we bake them, um, we make gumbo with them. One of our favorite things to do with frog legs, though, is to bacon wrap them, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take about half of them and 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 uh, bacon wrap and put them on the grill and the other half we're going to fry. We have our fry and everything ready on this side but I've already done a, done a video on frying frog legs so uh, I'll leave a, uh, leave a link for, for that in the description below. But anyway, uh, bacon wrapping, baking, bacon wrapping frog legs. We have our bacon, we have cream cheese and pepper jack cheese which is our favorite two cheeses to, to bacon wrap pretty much anything. A few jalapenos straight from the garden, and then some uh, special seasoning. Can't tell you what's in that, it's a secret. But uh, I'll put a couple together and just show you how I do it, and then we'll pop them on the grill, and, uh, and we'll go outside and show you what that looks like. So one thing to note is that we do cut the, the bottom of the leg off, and just use the two big, you know, the two big parts of the leg. Uh, just because it kind of gets in the way. Oh, look at that booger. See him twitching? Alright, so here's how we're going to bake and wrap these, these frog legs. There's our frog leg. Some of them I use jalapenos, some of them I don't, but I'm going to put a few little jalapeno slices right there. I'm going to take the cream cheese, smush that cream cheese on there, put a piece of uh, Pepper jack cheese on there, take my bacon, wrap her pretty tight, and then put a toothpick straight down the center, flip her over, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. A few little slices of jalapeno, cream cheese, pepper jack cheese. Big old piece of bacon, wrap her pretty tight. Toothpick through the middle. They may not be too pretty right now, but trust me, they're gonna be pretty in a few minutes when we put them on that grill. <laughs> so that's it. We're gonna do the rest of them here real quick and head out to the grill. All right, there's our bacon wrapped frog legs. I usually cook them on indirect heat for, uh, oh, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I'll come out here and look at them. And then I'll put them on high heat, uh, direct heat for about two or three minutes to, to, uh, to seal in those juices. But anyway, uh, there they are. And we're gonna cover them up, let them sit for a little while and do their thing. Alright, we're going to take a quick look at them. Oh, the cheese is a melting. Make sure the burgers don't stick. They're not sticking too bad, so I think we're going to be okay. But just a nice, slow, even cook on those frog legs. Don't want to overcook them because then they'll dry out. and Nothing annoys me more than dried out frog legs. So, uh... 
All right, gonna let them go a little longer. All right, let's take a look. These babies are done. Look at that, all that crispy, juicy bacon. Yummy. Oh, look at that. Yow! How good does that look? Bacon. Yow! Holy hell. I might have to get the... Man, <laughs> I have to get the tongs for them. Okay, I'm back. Almost died. Oh, man, that's gonna be fun cleaning that grill. But oh, there we go. Looks yummy good. All right, here's our bacon wrapped duck breast. Here is our bacon wrapped frog legs. Vodka. Fried frog legs. Fried frog legs and french fries. All right, Eli, there we go. Bacon wrapped frog legs. Stick your face. Take a bite. <laughs> no, 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 no hands. Eat it caveman style. <laughs> Watch the toothpick. Because I haven't, uh, I haven't had to crack somebody in weeks. I don't even know. What that is. You don't even know what that is, huh? Dry. It's me cutting a hole in your throat and putting a pin in your trachea. I'm sorry, larynx, to help you breathe. It's a good way to ruin a good pin. Are right, you good? It was good. Yeehaw! Success. I tell you. <laughs> what are you gonna eat? Yummy. Yeah,